Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd show you how to add and remove objects from a photograph using generative AI using Photoshop. Now, this is a beta feature, so if you want to try this out, you need to download the beta version of Photoshop, which is available through Adobe Creative Cloud. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go here and just do a square selection of this woman right here. And we're going to go here to generate our generative fill. And now we can put all whatever we want in here as a description to help kind of guide the generation. I'm going to just use generate right now because I want to remove her from the background. So let's see what it, it figures out to do if I don't say anything at all. And it, it takes a few seconds here, but it is actually relatively fast. It's much faster than trying to do this manually. So if we wanted to uh, remove this background with some of the other manual tools, you see how fast it removed that. Uh, even with context uh, or content aware um, brushes and stuff, it would take a while to remove this and it would be very difficult because of all the detail back here. If they were standing on a grass field or, or sand, it would be a little easier because there's kind of a more consistent texture. Uh, so it would take a while if we could actually do it to remove it. So you can see how well it did. It also gives us some choices. Like one of the choices here, it adds a totally different person here. Actually two of them adds a different person and one of them, it just totally removed the woman. Now sometimes it will give you um, multiple choices of the background when it removes the woman or you can actually do try generating it again to see if you get some better choices. Uh, so it gives you uh, a couple of variations each time you generate it. So that's very nice right there. So let's get back out of this and go back to the original uh, image here. And this time we're going to go here and we're going to go select subject. And it's going to actually figure out for us uh, these two people right here. It isn't exact. You can kind of adjust this around here where it missed. I'm not going to do that. We're just doing a quick demo. So the next thing is we're going to go up here to where it says select and go inverse. So now we have the background selected. So now when I go generate a fill, I'm going to type the word forest in. And, and we could put uh, a few different things. We just put forest or we could put jungle or we could put tropical forest or whatever. So let's just try forest to start with. And once again, just takes a couple of seconds for it to do this. It does it relatively fast. I mean, it's not instant, but imagine how much time this would take you to composite two photos like this. You'd have to go out and find the background photograph and then you would have to do all the masking yourself. So here's uh, one version of them in the forest and we've got three selections. And so we can kind of pick uh, some of them. The background is blurred a little more and this one, the background sharp. So now we're gonna go here and I'm gonna go uh, tropical jungle this time and generate so that we can actually specify you know where the forest or the jungle what it, a little more what it looks like uh, we could actually put forest in winter if we wanted to as well so here's some choices where we've put a tropical forest in. this actually looks like it's inside a path that looks like it's inside uh, maybe a greenhouse uh, and there's another one right there. So, and we can regenerate as many times as we want or, or what we want. Uh, we'll try one more. Let's put forest with snow. And we're gonna generate one more time here. And once again, it works pretty quickly. You just got to wait a few seconds here and, and it puts a progress bar at how fast it's running right now. And so we have a couple of 
different forests in the winter and it's masked that out as well once again this mask isn't perfect right here there's there's some uh, parts of the details that are missing so you can you can mess with the selection uh, and adjust that but this like I said this is just a demonstration so um, so that gives you an idea of some of the stuff that we can do right here we can also add uh, different things in and so for example we're gonna go th this right here uh, where it has water here and if I put something like this right here I can go generative fill and I can uh, put boy and go generate and it'll take a second here uh, the nice thing is it gives you three selections straight off so that you can you can see which works best for you and uh, chugging right along right here and th there's a bow you put in there it looks that looks pretty good it actually you can see it picks up some of the reflection of it in the water here uh, it's pretty good at picking up different reflections on pavements and and uh, particularly if they're wet pavement or in the water and such you can see a little bit of the reflection here it's put it in so it looks uh, relatively realistic as well now just one more final demonstration I'm going to show you uh, we have this man right here and it's a uh, vertical shot and say I wanted to make it uh, to expand the side some so that's more square or horizontal or whatever I can go up here to image and I can go to canvas size and uh, so say I want it square right now it's uh, 3000 by 4300 I'm gonna make the width 4300 too and I'm gonna go OK here and now what I'm gonna do is take the square selection tool and I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna select this border right here and I'm gonna go generate fill I'm just going to go generate here because I just want it to continue. Now I can try it first without putting any description and then if if I don't get something I like and I want to refine it I can add something later. So it's always good in this case to try it without actually putting any words and see what it does. So it's done a, done a good job there and if we go and look around you can see it changes what it fills in slightly it gives you three choices of how it, it fills it in. I'll leave that one I think. And so then we're going to come up here uh, with the the square selection tool again and we're going to select this whole thing right here and we're going to go generate fill and then generate. It takes a few seconds here so it's filled it in and once again uh, we have multiple choices of what we can put here so you can pick the one that you like the other thing you can do is you can do another selection so if everything's pretty good but you wanna there's something in here you want to remove you can kind of sel do a selection on that and, and, and refine it even more but right now this is in the beta stages uh, and so I wanted to show you some of the stuff that it can do. Uh, it's obviously, since it's in the beta, some of the way you, you, you do it or even the interface might change slightly and it may add more features. The resolution for the stuff it generates now is, is kind of limited. So it will be a little lower probably than the resolution of the photograph that you may be using. Uh, but that will probably improve in the future as well. Like I said, it's just a, a beta uh, for right now. I'm Dean, uh, and this is Photo Blue, and I'll see you next time.